Well, uh, hey, uh, relax, <laughs> just relax. Interesting that you say that thing about uh, what if they made atheism illegal? Blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, pretty much in this country, for a long time, it, it wasn't really legal to be atheist. In fact, there are still some books on the law that say if you're not, if you're, if you're, if you don't believe in a deity, if you don't worship a deity, that you can't vote, you can't run for office. Arkansas still has that on the books, by the way. Yeah. Isn't that weird? So, yeah, we've been trying for thousands of years to be tolerant. In this last hundred, couple hundred years here in this country, where we came for this specific purpose to get out from under the yoke of any certain religion, because we really don't want to be under the yoke of any religion. Most of us, you know as well as I, that Jefferson and Adams and so on and so forth were not Christians, Catholics, or any of that crap. All of them had a more rational approach and, and reasonable approach to the whole deity worship thing. Uh, Dang it, I missed places when I had a, a website where I had a, uh, I had a reference to some of the quotes uh, made by some of the uh, founding fathers, uh, you know, about religions and such and how they've been nothing but a, a I'm sorry, I'm just getting old, you know, and I'm saying old. I got, like I said, I got some new oil that I'm trying out. It's working really, really well for my uh, pain. But dang it, it gets me really stoned. <laughs> It's not a bad thing. When you're feeling like I do, you know, I can't drive anyway, so I don't worry about that. I, it's, what the hell? I mean, you know, they, they could begrudge me that, right? Let me get a little high. And if I, want to, I got my card. I, I'm in Oregon. I know what I'm doing. Anyway, my friend, I'd rather call you by your name. My name's Cheryl. You can call me Cheryl. I just wanted to touch base with you on that. I, I don't find that uh, to be necessarily true. If you give a person an excuse, they'll grab on to it. You know what I mean? So he say something like, uh, uh, Dang it, I've lost my train of thought again. You know, but losing, losing your integrity and your freedom from what, uh, from religion. Listen, I know we're here again. You know as well as I, we, 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 we both know it would take real zeal to want to not only commit suicide, but to have the desire to kill a bunch of strangers. Because your imam told you to. Said that he got the word of God from Muhammad himself. Peace be upon him. So I don't understand why you think we haven't been tolerant. <laughs> You know, I'm tired of being tolerant. I'm, I'd like to change my name from just an earthling to a uh, militant earthling. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a little hung up about it, getting a little irritated by it. Everything you want to do about religion, everything, it's fucking pissing me off. In 1957, they, they ruined our Pledge of Allegiance. I'm not pledging under God, I'm pledging a flag, for crying out loud. At least they took it out of the courtrooms, huh? And those people are, the Christians are still bitching about it. They don't get it. They just don't get it. We don't want their myth and, and worships. It's not about that. We don't want to have that. We don't want it around us. We don't want our children to be forced to it. We don't want them to even bring it up to her. It's like, if, if you take your child to church and you know the old creep in the funny robes on the pulpit is supposed to be this very revered. You know he's got power, man. I mean, you're taught since you're a baby that this is the most powerful man in your life. He's next to God. Don't you think you'd be a little frightened if he's telling you if you don't believe in this Jesus, you're going to go to hell and burn forever? I mean, come on. See, that kind of thing is we've tolerated long enough. And these people have been abusing their children as we tolerate. And we allow it. And now those children are doing the same thing. They'd actually rather read the Bible 
and believe in magic than to trust in science. Isn't that amazing to you? Does that tell you something? That they're still so stone age that they would actually choose magical, biblical, woo woo do not over empirical evidence, critical thinking. Huh? I mean, in science, I, mean, I don't understand this. I, I cannot get it. I get past that. Even when I was a kid, that, yeah, my mom made me go to Catholic school. Don't get me wrong. Catholics, they do educate well. I have to admit, they do. Except this catechism class. <clears throat> and they start telling us a story about Jesus coming upon the, 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 his friend's wedding. I guess it's from I don't know how they put it. And you know the story. He's uh, irritated about it. I don't have any wine. I'm just sure my guests are making a fine wedding. <laughs> and so, you know, the story goes that Jesus you know, all right, I, 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 I'll see if I can help you out here. But first, you got to turn around, everybody. What? He goes, that's okay. Just turn around. And they all turn around. And he has his apostles bringing a bunch of jugs of wine. Hurry, you guys, be quiet. Shh. And they run out. He goes, okay, turn back around. La da Wine for the, for the wedding. It's a miracle. I don't know. That's what it sounds like to me, though. Some big snake oil salesman, you know, running his show. <laughs> and these people believe this stuff. And we've been tolerating that for 2,000 years. Criminy. Even in our public schools, they allowed it for a while. I'm just so devastated by it. I can't believe it. And then, I really am. It's incredible. I'm glad my grandson is intelligent enough to tell his grandma. Grandma, I'm really not into the mythological unicorn world. <laughs> she calls me on the phone. <laughs> what have you been teaching this kid? <laughs> Reality? Why? Did that bug you that he, he's rational about his life? He's afraid that he's not scared of your devil? It's, it's so weird. <laughs> she calls me a bitch. You know. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to go to church. He knew the he knew the consequence. He knew what it was about. I've taught him, taught him well. No, I didn't indoctrinate him. I had him read. And I had him think. And I had him read. Then he read. He read, he read science. He likes science. He, he saw the, you know, the bullshit himself. So relax, God folk. Relax. Leave us alone. But we will get militant. How's that? Alright, I'll see you later, guy. I do. This is the actual answer I wanted to make more than that music and stuff that I did in the medicine. That was an accident. I don't know how the heck it got attached to this video, but it did, and uh, I, I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> see you later. Oh, me? I'm just an earthling. But I'm in Portland. Mate.